Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on how to create a custom action in Sidecore. In one of my previous tutorials we've created a custom rule. So today we will create an action, we will add a rule and an action to the page event, we will assign this page event to the page, so then when the user visits the page, a rule will be evaluated and the action will be triggered. To create a custom action, we need to navigate to Sidecore, System, Settings, Rules, Definitions, and Elements. Under Elements item, we have a number of predefined sections. Below each section, there are conditions and rules that will be grouped together. And Sidecore, by default, provided custom section where you can add all your custom conditions and actions. In one of my previous tutorials I've created a new section it's called PWE and we have one condition and one action. To create a custom action you have to specify the text that will be displayed for content editors and in this case it will be save specific item ID where specific will be a link it will be a tree where the root of this tree will be a sidecore content so content editors will be able to select any item from the content tree and we are passing the page ID to the class that we've specified in the type field so we need to specify the full namespace and the class name and the project name so let's go ahead and add a condition and an action to, to the new page event. So we need to go up to the settings, analytics and page events. So I'm going to create a new page event. And we need to scroll down to the rules section and we will be editing a rule. My custom section PWE should be displayed on the right hand side and should display all the uh, actions that I added below this section and on the left hand side we should see all the conditions that are under this section. So it looks like it's not working so let's go ahead and quickly fix it. We need to scroll down to to page events element and we need to add PWE to, to the default tags. So I'm going to save it. And now if we edit a rule, PWE is now displayed. So we can select one of the conditions from the left column and our custom action from the right column. So as I mentioned, specific is a tree where content editors can select any item from the content tree. So I'm going to save it because this is just an example so then you can create and implement your own logic. Let's add this page event to the page. So I'm going to select about us page and we need to scroll down to, to the advanced section and we have a tracking field. You can add goals to this page but we will be adding events. We need to find our event on this list and select the checkbox next to the event. So it looks like our event is not on this list because we haven't deployed the event we've created so let's go back to to the event and we need to select the review tab and deploy this event so when you're creating goals and page events you need to remember to deploy them because then sidecore updates analytics database and then you can use these goals and page events 
and in sidecar. So I'm going to deploy it. And now page event test is on the list. So I'm going to select it, save it. And now when a user visits this page, this page event will be triggered. So the rule will be evaluated and the action will be triggered. And I'm going to switch to Visual Studio where I show you how to create a class and how to pull these elements together so everything will work. So custom action needs to inherit from rule action where T is rule context and we need to override apply method because rule action is an abstract class and apply is an abstract method so every time you inherit from this class you need to implement your own version of apply method and the page id property is the same variable that we've specified in the text of the action and that will allow you to access the page id that will be passed from psycho to this class in this tutorial, we've created an action and we've configured a page event, all to trigger a custom action when a user visits a page and all the rule conditions are true. So you may find it useful when creating something custom for your clients. Thanks for watching and I see you next time.